a lot of the things that we're trying to address at the moment is what is interaction design. And there's not one definition. It's the design for somebody using something, and that something could take many, many different shapes. Whenever you design some kind of an experience, you're working on interaction design. So when you have an experience, when you're basically interacting with an object or a service or some kind of a system, that interaction has to be designed properly. A lot of interaction design is software design. It is about kind of a, a system of instructions that deal with what is inputted and, and create an output or create an impact or, or create an experience. It's difficult to define what disciplines get involved in interaction design um, because it really would depend on what product we are talking about. And products, I don't really mean only the physical objects, but it could mean public service to uh, how to run business or uh, business models. The modern mobile phones, they are essentially just one flat screen. So the way you design the interface behind that screen becomes incredibly important and can give you the same exact object, can give you two completely different experiences depending on what you put behind the screen. All the icons and all the menus and how you can swipe things and how you can turn it around and the image shifts and how you can take a picture with it and how you can call someone even and how you can play all those games and all that stuff. There was an interaction designer who decided all that. I think the one point that I would want to make is that it's not just about gadgets. It's not just about technology. It's not just about whizzy interfaces. Um, it's really about how we, how we interact with things and, and thinking about the fact that someone designed that and thinking about the fact that there's more complexity to it than perhaps meets the eye.